Hi everyone, Miss Janine here, your grade 7 science teacher. For our today's science tutorial, we will discuss the Earth's natural resources. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's start! Humans, just like any other species, have needs. We are not capable of surviving without our basic needs. Every individual needs to eat, to wear clothes, and to be sheltered. All the things we need to survive, such as food, water, air, and shelter, come from natural resources. Natural resources are materials from the earth that are used to support life and meet people's needs. Any natural substance that humans use can be considered a natural resource. Natural resources are used to make food, fuel, and raw materials for the production of goods. This can be classified into two, renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Some of these resources, like small plants, can be replaced quickly after they are used while others cannot be replaced once used up. Let us first discuss the renewable resources. These are natural resources that can be replenished at about the same rate at which they are used, however, can be depleted if not properly managed or conserved. Renewable resources are air, sunlight, soil, and water. Animals and plants are renewable resources as well. People often waste natural resources. Animals are overhunted, forests are cleared, exposing land to wind and water damage. Fertile soil is exhausted and lost to erosion because of poor farming practices. If resources are carelessly managed, many will be used up. If used wisely and efficiently, however, renewable resources will last much longer. Through conservation, people can reduce waste and manage natural resources wisely. Here in the Philippines, we are blessed with renewable resources. Some examples are the Cagayan River, also known as the Rio Grande de Cagayan, which is the longest, largest, and widest river in the country. The river supports the lives of numerous endemic and endangered species like the Luzon Bleeding Heart Pigeon, Philippine Eagle, and a rare fish called Ludong. Another one is the Taal Lake, which is of international importance because it hosts two types of fish that can be found only in this lake. These fish are oceanic fish in the ocean, commonly used for food internationally, that have adapted to this high sulfur but freshwater environment. The Philippines is mostly mountainous. The highest point is Mount Apo in Davao, which is 2,854 meters above sea level. It is covered by a forest of tall, tropical hardwoods, two subsidiary peaks nearly match its height. A forest is a large area, covered with trees grouped so their foliage shades the ground. Our forest serves as habitats to varied species of animals. Different species of plants also serve as food, construction materials, raw materials for other production ornamentals, and for many other purposes. Let us now proceed with the non-renewable resources. These are depleted more quickly than they can regenerate and once used completely, they are gone forever. These resources such as coal, natural gas and oil provide heat, light and power. Non-renewable resources are those natural resources that cannot be replaced at all. Fossil fuels like oil and natural gas were formed over millions of years. Once they are used up, they are gone forever. The Philippines has its own non-renewable resources. Our country is very rich in minerals such as metals and non-metals. Some examples of metals which can be found here are the following. Silver, gold, zinc, iron, and copper. While the non-metals are cement, limestone, marble, clay, sulfur, and others. 
Again, here are the differences between renewable and non-renewable resources. That's it! Let's have a quick recap. In this video, we discuss natural resources, the renewable and the non-renewable resources, as well as the Philippines' natural resources. Now, let's try answering a 5-item quiz about natural resources. You have a minute to answer. Good luck! Time's up! Let's check if your answers are correct. That's the end of our science tutorial. I hope that you've learned a lot and see you soon. Thank you for watching!